This is a review of landmark papers for damage control laparotomy from the East Landmark Papers online resource. This paper highlights an abdominal closure technique using Gore-Tex mesh to sequentially draw the fascia to the midline. Inpatient records at Walter Reed Army Medical Center from Operations Enduring Freedom and Iraqi Freedom soldiers with open or reopened abdomens were reviewed from March 2003 to August 2005. 29 soldiers injured by secondary blast effects, penetrating trauma, motor vehicle crashes, and crush injuries were included. Patients arrived to Walter Reed eight days after injury, with Gore-Tex mesh placed six days from arrival and 14 days from in initial injury. Serial abdominal closure was achieved with towel clamp tightening or excision of midline mesh and drawing fascia closer to the midline over an average of 46 days before definitive closure. Early definitive closure defined by primary closure or with the assistance of mesh during the index hospital admission was achieved in 24 patients. Four patients required early removal of the mesh, which resulted in three patients with planned ventral hernia and one patient with primary closure along with fascial release. Early definitive closure was accomplished with polypropylene mesh in 17 patients, and six patients had the original Gore-Tex in place. The average hospital discharge was 18 days after closure. Postoperative follow-up identified one recurrent hernia, not requiring surgery, two surgical site infections, and no intercutaneous fistula. Seroabdominal closure with Gore-Tex mesh led to early definitive closure in 89% of patients and was a safe alternative to planned ventral hernia.